Item number. SCP-023. Object class. Euclid. Description. SCP-023 is a large, sexless, shaggy canine with black fur. Any time an individual makes eye contact with SCP-023, either that person or a member of their immediate family will die exactly one year after eye contact is broken. Research into method of selection is incomplete due to a moratorium of experiments, but the available data suggests that having a larger immediate family lessens the chance of the individual making eye contact themselves dying, and neither a pattern nor preference in victim types have been found. This may indicate that SCP-023's victim is designated entirely at random, but it is unknown whether the selection occurs at the beginning or at the end of the one-year time period. Attempts to terminate an individual who has made eye contact with SCP-023 and their entire immediate family before the one-year period has ended. Data expunged. Autopsies of individuals killed by SCP-023's effect show that while outwardly appearing unharmed, the remains have been filled with highly compacted ash, including, but not limited to, all organ systems and the circulatory system. Muscle tissue, bones, and brain tissue universally show signs of exposure to temperatures above <laughs> degrees Celsius. If not contained in a setting that at least superficially resembles a crossroads, SCP-023 will phase through walls to get to the nearest suitable location, incinerating all materials it passes through. SCP-023 was first brought to the Foundation's attention when it attacked a church in <laughs> while it was in session, killing <laughs> civilians directly and redacted as a result of eye contact. Following retrieval of SCP-023, Class B amnesiacs were administered to all witnesses and surviving victims. The incident was covered up as a case of arson. Special Containment Procedures SCP-023 is to be contained in a walled-off intersection of two corridors at site with at least three meters of space in each direction, and false doors at three of the four ends, in addition to the real door. Security cameras will be placed and maintained above all four doors. At all times, SCP-023's eye sockets are to be filled with spherical inserts made of hard rubber. Eye inserts must be replaced as they degrade. Degradation can be monitored by measuring the brightness of the burning effect as observed by security footage. Brightness greater than 12 candela requires that the inserts be replaced within 12 hours. Eye inserts are only to be replaced individually, and only after the sun has completely set. Personnel are not to look directly into eye sockets of SCP-023 at any time. Following Incident 023-27, all reflective surfaces, including displays, monitors, and eyewear of any sort are not permitted within 30 meters of SCP-023's cell. This includes monitors linked to security cameras within its enclosure. Security personnel posted at checkpoints outside both corridors will enforce and adhere to this measure. Experimentation involving SCP-023 has been suspended indefinitely. Addendum 023-001 SCP-023 broke containment on <laughs> by passing through its cell wall. Incident 023-01 SCP-023 was later discovered at the intersection of two corridors elsewhere on site. Agent noted SCP-023's similarity to a redacted special containment procedures for SCP-023 updated. Assistant researcher issued a reprimand for negligence. Addendum 023-002 SCP-023 has been responsible for the deaths of personnel and civilian since it was first brought to containment on October 12, 1994. Addendum 023-003. Request for reclassification to Keter pending.